this seemed more uh, a little bit of gratitude, just for acknowledging the the fan base a little bit yeah. more, maybe. Yeah, definitely, definitely for the fan base. That's for sure. It's not, not the performance. That's uh, that one was for that one. Yeah. Did you consider doing the same thing that Chandler did a year ago after getting a pin in his last one, bowing to the ground? <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't really think about things like that. I just spur the moment, I guess, and just whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I know. Again, I know the the match didn't go the way you wanted to begin with, but you also called your shot on Tuesday. I mean, when when we talked about the last time in GIA on the riser, you got a pin and you said, "Let's do it again," mm -hmm. and you did that again. How how does that feeling, knowing that you finished your career at GIA with a pin in front of your parents and whatnot? And that's going to be the lasting memory of people of, of for for them here of, of you here in GIA. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, I guess it's pretty cool. You know, I definitely, I would definitely take all that with a dominant performance over that, personally. But it's not the way it went. So, um, I guess that's pretty cool too. I mean, I I don't know. It's what it is, and uh, I honestly matches like that I just kind of leave behind me. Um, cause I got big goals, you know, and they're right there, you know, they're on the doorstep. So and it's coming up next week and the week after, and two weeks after that, and the week after that one. So uh, that's what I'm focused on. So even in your fifth year here and down to your last month, how can you learn from that that type of match? Yeah, of course. Like Coach said, um, I always expect the unexpected, uh, especially in Bedlam. Like he always preaches it to us, you know? And uh, fortunate enough for me, this was the first time where I had to expect the unexpected in a Bedlam match like that. So um, this was that that one time and, and uh, it's, it, I got better today, you know? I, I think I, you know, it's gonna prepare me for, for the weeks, you know? I think that there's not one day that goes by where you can improve, so. I think uh, this is definitely going to get me better. Yeah. I don't know how much of Reese's match you actually even got to see, but um, just talk about him as, uh, as a wrestler. I mean, Coach made a joke about don't go get a coat during yeah. his match, but it's kind of been uh, a little bit like that for him, hasn't it? Yeah, he's, uh, man, he's explosive. He's really, really good when, when he wants to be. Um, you better watch out, you know. Uh, he's one of those guys where you lock it up with them, some something's gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, I, I personally I see a huge upside for Reese. And, uh, I'm excited for him for his for his career to unfold. Definitely, uh, I see a lot of good things in the future for him. Usually, you're not seeing him better, you know, preparing and having a match going on right before you, and I'm sure you didn't get to see much. But what was it like? getting ready to go out on the mat and seeing Austin Harris with everything that he's gone through the last couple of years to, to come away with a major decision in this Bedlam duel for you guys. Yeah, it's huge. That's that's definitely huge. I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I'm really happy for him. Um, you know, just the battle of the heavyweight spot, you know, um, different looks, different people who could go out there and for him to, uh, you know, go out there and get the major for us at that point in time, you know, in the duel. Um, that's big, you know. So he's, I think he stepped up and and he uh, met the pressure. So I'm, I'm really excited for him. I'm I'm proud of him. Yeah. You both talk about uh, about going to Iowa next week. Last time for you, and uh, was some mistaken first time for you. So kind of both both ends of the spectrum for you guys. You both talk about it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely really really excited and. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, fireworks. It's gonna be packed. That Iowa crowd, um, man. Rematch, just a lot of different things up and down the, you know, the lineup. But um, man, I'm excited for our team to go there, experience that, especially before Big 12s, NCAAs, just like this. You know, you get a big crowd and you get that feel, so it just prepares you even more. But yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm 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 ready to go. I'm, I'm really ready to go. Um, I'm personally excited for the Iowa duel just because I get to um, wrestle the number two guy in the country. You know, he's a guy I've never felt before. He's never felt me. Um, 
and so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting match, and it's going to be a good gauge for to see where I'm at um, on this year. You know, I'm, <clears throat> I've been winning a lot lately, and and uh, but he's going to be a lot more quality opponent than anybody I've wrestled this year. So it's going to be a, a really really good match, and if it's anything like the Iowa duel last year, it's going to it's going to be some fireworks. Nick, you probably don't have a lot of fans up there, especially after last year's <laughs> duel year. Yeah, I don't think I have. Not at all. Hopefully one. <laughs> from uh, I don't really care. I got Oklahoma State behind my back, so it'll be all right. Travis, your performance sit tonight. How first off, how unique was that? And weird for that uh, that you close out the duel instead of being there in the middle of it. Yeah, that was weird. Um, you know. Last match, it was it was in a long duel. There was a lot of intermissions, you know. So um, it just it was a lot of waiting around. Honestly, I didn't. I mean, it was cool to be the last match and you know go out with a bang. But um, at the same time, it was just like kind of hurry up. Let's let's go wrestle. Let's go get it done, you know. So um, it was different, but um, you know, and there for there for a second, at the beginning of the duel, I thought, well, maybe maybe this duel's gonna come down to my match. I don't know. So, you know, the way it was going there for a little bit, but, um, no, it was, it was good, and it was, um, I'm glad I went out and got a tech ball and put on a good performance. What'd you do, maybe differently or whatever, to try to pace yourself? Because ultimately, about two hours that you're sitting around waiting mm -hmm. for you, you got out there on the mat. Uh, I rested, honestly. I, I watched a couple matches. Um, after the heavyweight match, I went back up in the wrestling room, and I laid down for a couple matches, rested, got, rested my eyes, um, Mentally prepared, and then um, when it's time to, you know, round 141, 149, get up and get moving, get ready for your match. But everything before that was just basically mental preparation. You you mentioned that you've been you've been winning a lot lately. What's what's been the key for you, for you this season to get to the point you're at? Um, wrestling loose. Um, you know, I I have a being more confident in my style. Um, I think in the beginning of the season when I came out, I wasn't really necessarily confident in myself, and and I wasn't confident when I was taking shots. I was very hesitant on everything, um, and I think that's really changed for me. And um, you know, I'm not afraid to go get to my tie and, and attack and get to a shot. And so, when you're not afraid to get wrestle your style it, against anybody, any match, when you're when you go out and let it loose, um, you know, it's going to be there's going to be a lot of points scored. And you know, if you look at my um, matches previously this season, early in the season, I had a lot of one point wins. And now those wins are going to five point wins, majors, deck balls. And so, um, you know, I think just the major key is being more confident in my style and, and uh, knowing when I shoot, I'm going to get to the leg and I'm going to score. You know, there's just that, that type of confidence, that type of mentality has uh, really helped. How, how much has just experience throughout this year really helped with building your confidence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's been awesome. Um, you know, ever since the scuffle, I beat some um, couple top ten guys at the scuffle, and that was like that was a, a great experience for me because it let me know that I can wrestle at this level. And like I said in the previous question, that was a big confidence booster. Um, you know, after beating some guys like that, that made me realize that. Okay, I'm experienced enough. I'm mature enough. I can I can wrestle here, and I can wrestle at this level. I know throughout the season, coaches have been trying to kind of get different different angles from you within the matches. Whether it's you know seeing how you do writing, trying to turn guys stuff like that. In one like this, where the, the final two periods are wanting you to cut them and, mm -hmm. and keep shooting, is it, do you enjoy that a little bit more than just trying to work on on you know your writing for the, on the top, or which do you kind of prefer? Um, I. It, Depends on the match, the way it's going, you know. But uh, personally, I like wrestling on my feet. Um, I've never been much of a pinner my whole career. Um, even in high school, I was more of a takedown guy. Um, so I, I always love wrestling on my feet, being on my feet. I'm, that's where I'm most comfortable. Um, obviously, I'm also comfortable everywhere, but um, on my feet is just really what I prefer. Nick, you, we talked about Iowa. Do you have any words of advice for him or Taco guys who are going to be wrestling up there for the first time? 
Yeah. Just embrace it. Embrace the whole experience because, like you said, I was in M one day, but uh, it's it's fun. So. Anything else?